What is up YouTube? We have another video for you guys today. In this video, we're going to be talking about the top six NBA players you should be watching for the 2017-2018 regular season. We start this off with number six with Blake Griffin, the Los Angeles Clippers point forward. Now there is many reasons why you should be watching Blake Griffin next season, and it's pretty simple. His the team is now officially his. The team he was drafted with is now in his hands, and he's responsible for creating all the plays, creating all the shots, and doing everything to the team to bring them to what seems to be at least past the second round. Yes, I know those second round jokes are probably going to be spammed in the comment section, but it's all right. But Blake Griffin is still going to be a player that we can't wait to see. Even if you're not a Clipper fan, I suggest you go out and watch Clippers game just to watch and see the point Blake. Last season, Chris Paul was injured for what seems to be, I believe, 20 games. And we've seen it. Blake Griffin without Chris Paul, and he was a very exciting player. He was throwing alley-oops to DeAndre Jordan. He was getting rebounds. He was throwing no-look pass. He was dribbling the ball down the court. He's showing that he's he has very good court vision. He was getting down low, throwing post hooks, get, stepping outside, hitting mid-range jumpers. Man, Blake Griffin is going to be an exciting player to see. And of course, like always, you're going to see a hell of a lot of alley-oop dunks coming from Blake Griffin. So yeah, I want you to do it right now. Go ahead and start I don't know what you do, but just get ready. Just watch Blake Griffin next season. Watch this guy, and you won't be you won't be disappointed. I promise you. If you're disappointed, you can go ahead and dislike this video. But you won't be disappointed. All right? That's that's really it. The Philadelphia 76ers point forward Ben Simmons. Now, last year we was actually expected to see Ben Simmons play, but unfortunately. Things did not go well for that. During the summer league, Ben Simmons got a little bit rough out there and ended up getting injured. He was expected to miss just about a couple of months. Most fans were kind of disappointed to not see their promising prospect play go out there and play immediately, even though they're not expected to win in much game, but just wanted to see Ben Simmons play and see what he's all about. But when January came up, it turned out the Sixers decided to say no to that. They was like, you know what? I'm not, I don't want to rush Ben Simmons out there. You might as well just shut him down for the rest of the season. So you can understand what's happening with Sixers fans. Not, not just Sixers fans, fans all around the NBA. They were couldn't wait to see this guy have his NBA debut. Just wanted to see what this guy was all about. And unfortunately, the Sixers decided to squash that. So now we have one whole year without, without, us seeing Ben Simmons play and the fact that he was compared to a great player that we all know as LeBron James his uh, passing abilities we've seen it is great he definitely has the rebounding abilities it's great to see he's going to be able to take the Sixers and end this process that they had so if you haven't already just start scheduling your days whenever the Sixers come out and you got to watch this guy play because I believe this Ben Simmons guy is going to bring the Sixers to the promised land I, I believe so sooner or later the Milwaukee Bucks small forward Giannis Atkakempo I probably said it wrong but it doesn't matter but I'm pretty sure that's pretty gosh darn accurate now Giannis is the definition of a player who just keeps getting better when you look at his rookie numbers and look at it now you would never expect this guy to get great across the board from like six a game to 23 a game from like two rebounds or four rebounds a game to like nine rebounds a game. This guy, his entire stats, field goal percentage, everything, he's getting better and better at an alarming rate. He is so young, he's so interesting, he is such a versatile player, he's got the long arms, he's tall, he's quick, he's just, I, I can't even understand, I can't even, I don't think words can actually describe what Giannis is. He's, he is a freak. That that's that's why you gotta watch him. It's simple. He's a freak, and he's going to be a top three MVP candidate. If I'm wrong, I'm not wrong. He's going to be a top three MVP candidate, and that's for sure. Giannis is a player you must, no matter what you're doing right now. If you're using the bathroom, 
you gotta stop using the bathroom and change your channel and watch Giannis play the game of basketball. Yes, that is it. Watch Giannis this upcoming season. The Los Angeles Lakers point guard, Lonzo Ball. Now, Lonzo Ball is definitely the most anticipated rookie since like LeBron James. <laughs> if that's our, if you're hearing that, I think that's all you really need to hear. Lonzo Ball is easily the most anticipated and the most hype rookie we've ever seen in for like for like since LeBron James. You know how hype he was? He was coming out of high school and he was playing games in college stadiums. That is how hype he was. He was supposed to be the prodigy and the fact that he can Lonzo he was just LeBron was amazing. And the fact about Lonzo Ball is that Magic Johnson actually selected him. And we're talking, yeah, Magic Johnson, one of the greatest players of all time, especially at the point guard position, picked up Lonzo Ball and said that he has the ability to surpass him. So think about that right now. Magic Johnson said that Lonzo Ball, a guy who hasn't even played the game in the NBA, has hyped, has said that he will sur probably surpass him and for him not to take all of his achievements and beat all of his records. That, that just sounds mind-boggling right there. So Lonzo Ball is definitely, 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 you definitely have to watch this guy play. And not that's not, that's not all. That's not all, really. You also got to watch him because of his father, LeVar Ball. That man just brings, he's, well, if you don't know LeVar Ball, I, I don't, you don't know basketball. You, you Even casual fans know who LeVar Ball is. And LeVar Ball, LeVar Ball, LeVar Ball brings hype and Lonzo Ball just the whole ball family is we all can't wait to see them play and i really really can't wait to see lonzo ball play against my los angeles clippers on the nba debut and i'm just gonna say patrick beverly gonna lock him up but that's just you gotta watch lonzo ball play all right if he's this gifted passer best passer we've ever seen ever six six just just watch lonzo ball play that's all i gotta say lakers just watch him even if you're not a laker fan the reigning MVP, Russell Rusbrook of the Oklahoma City Thunders. Man, there are so many reasons why you should be watching Russell Westbrook. First of all, last year, he ended up being the MVP, even though I don't agree when I believe that James Harden was supposed to be doing the, the, the sure MVP. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. He's he does it. Does, it really doesn't matter. Even though James Harden was definitely snubbed and he just robbed. Okay, I, let me get myself out of that. But Russell Westbrook ended up being the MVP. All right, that's great. That's not all. He went out of his way and averaged a triple double, something we haven't seen since Oscar Robinson. Yes, he went out there, ten rebounds, ten assists. And about and well over 30 points per game. That and that is insane. I can't lie about that. That is really insane. And he did that to, with little to no help. Actually, one of the better players on the team was probably Steven Adams, in my opinion. And you got guys like Andre Robeson going out there shooting 17% from the free throw line in the playoffs. So yeah, you can understand what Westbrook is standing at. But why should you watch him this season though? He's not gonna do more than triple. He's gonna get a triple double again. Nah, I don't think he's going to get another triple-double. But this season, he did get two new friends added to his roster. First of all is a guy who ended up, you know, one of the better scorers we've seen in the NBA, and Carmelo Anthony. Oh, man, Carmelo Anthony is a, is a devastating scorer. People just don't forget about that. He's definitely a devastating scorer. And that's, that's not just, that's not all. They also acquired Paul George from the Indiana Pacers and lost nothing really but Victor Oladipo. Now, if that isn't insane, meaning that we're going to see a Russell Westbrook who actually has players that can shoot at the wing. Not Victor Oladipo, not Andre Robeson. You're going to have people that can actually space the floor for Westbrook. And instead of him getting triple teamed or quadruple teamed, Westbrook is going to have to be played on ice. It's gonna have to, you, people are going to have to guard this man one-on-one. -on -one. Can you really guard an electric, ecstatic point guard like Russell Westbrook one-on-one? -on -one? Especially the fact that he has a sharpshooter in Carmelo Anthony, Carmelo Anthony at one side of the court and a sharpshooter like Paul George on another side of the court. I cannot fathom how, I really cannot see how any player can actually stand up one-on-one -on -one against him. I uh, are talking about Kawhi Leonard. So that is the reason why you should, 
watch Russell Westbrook this season. Watch out. Every team in the league, this team is going to be a scary offensive force coming into the league and is behind this man, Russell Westbrook. One of the most exciting players in the league. Last but definitely not least, Kyrie Irving of the Boston Celtics. That's just, that, that sounds so weird. I, I can't be the only one. But I, I, I'm going to make Kyrie a very simple. I did talk a lot with Russell Westbrook. I'm going to make it pretty simple. I think you guys all know what to expect. Well, Kyrie Irving, as we all know, is definitely the player with the most nastiest ball handling skills like we've ever seen. Kyrie is definitely an exciting ball handler. In my opinion, the best ball handler to ever dribble a basketball. He's got all the tricks and, and moves behind his leg. He can do behind the backs, throw backs, step backs, you know, under legs three times, do the dynamic crossovers and, and just makes just, oh, he's so hard to defend one-on-one -on -one because of all his, his little nifty tricks. And that's not all. He can also finish around the rim exceptionally well. And now he's on a new team. And guess what? Kyrie is the man he's actually the man there's no more lebron taking all the limelight it's going to be kyrie it's kyrie's team kyrie can actually say that when 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 the kyrie joined well when kyrie actually decided to re-sign with the cavaliers to be part he expected to be the guy that's what i believe he expected to be the guy to lead him to the promised land but lebron james came and you know kind of took all the shine i believe from kyrie but now that's all over He's in a new situation. He's got great teammates around him, a new system. Kyrie is going to be a fascinating player to watch. And we're going to see a lot of angry, something special from Kyrie this season. So if you haven't already, you already know what to do. Watch Kyrie Irving for the 2017-2018 NBA season. Just watch.